We've really uh, operated it uh, primarily as a museum. Sagatuck and Douglas will soon be losing one of their most recognizable landmarks. The SS Kuwaitan will leave its mooring on October 15th. A group in Canada purchased the 104-year-old steamship and will be towing it there. 24-hour news aide Steve Kelso spent the day aboard the Kuwaitan. Hey, good evening, Sue. You know, I suppose I was probably five or six years old when my parents first took me on board that ship. We were on a family vacation from Morton, Illinois, where I grew up. And when I heard the ship was leaving, I wanted to take one last tour. And today, owner Roland Peterson hooked me up. Well, the whole idea is to preserve the boat in its original condition uh, into the future. It was 1967 when Roland J. Peterson brought the SS Key Wait into this dock. Her sailing days were past, and Peterson wanted to preserve her so future generations could see a piece of Great Lakes history. For nearly 45 years now, Peterson has welcomed visitors aboard his floating museum. And as hard as it will be for him to watch her leave, it's not the worst thing that could happen. Well, what I don't want to watch her is deteriorate. After all, being 85 years old, I'm getting a little uh, long in the tooth for the, you know, the paintbrush. Once the standard in Victorian luxury, the Key Waitin is today much the way she was at her 1907 christening, but her age is showing. Her original owner was the Canadian Pacific Railway. They used her for almost 60 years. So these boats went up here to Fort William, dumped off passengers and freight, and then brought back passengers and grain. Recently, a preservation group from Port McNichol, Ontario, secured the funding to not only move, but refurbish the Key Waitin. The agreement also covers the dredging that will be needed to tow her out of here, leaving behind a newly dredged lake that may help grow the marina. I mean, listen, tomorrow always comes, no matter what I do. Peterson says now the best thing he can do is make sure she ends up in good hands for the next generation. Are you going to miss being able to come up here? Well, yeah, but you know, I'm going to miss breathing, too, you know, one of these days. So It's, it's called planning ahead, I guess. No, I think you have to think about the ship itself. But there, there would be a point where we couldn't keep up with the maintenance, and that wouldn't be good. So you've got until about October 15th to get over there. That'll be the last day that the key waiting sits at that particular point in the dock. And then it'll be on its way to Ontario. Back to you.